the language has now become the language of inclusive education so earlier we used to use the phrase children with special needs but when we say inclusive education it's not only uh, when we say special needs we often think of uh, children with you know physical disabilities or you know visual impairment or hearing impairment so we use the phrase special needs but what we are increasingly recognizing is that in a class you will have children who do not have any visual impairment no physical disability but yeah. they come from a family which has not been to a school ever yeah. so that is also a kind of a disability or there is a kind of a disadvantage not a dis- disability but a disadvantage so increasingly when we say inclusive we yeah. are saying that irrespective of your background if you are able to get the learning opportunity that will help you progress in your own you know ability to develop yourself then it's inclusive so right. even if there is a child which is not able to speak the language with the medium of instruction is or you know as a, uh, a, a girl sibling who is having difficulties at home so inclusive education goes beyond the uh, uh, only children with special needs now with special needs there are specific tools available so for example for visually impaired children there are voice to uh, text to voice readers so uh, there are text to voice voice to text readers there are different kind of engines that are available for helping the transcending of specific disabilities but in terms of a larger inclusive environment how digital technologies help and this is what our work has also focused on is right. to create additional pedagogical resources for teacher so teacher traditionally has certain content and certain pedagogical approaches which may be meeting 30% of the class population right. but digital technologies can allow the teacher to change increase the pedagogical repertoire right. increase the content available so from chalk and talk you have gone on to videos you have gone on to animations simulations so when the pedagogical and the content repertoire of the teacher increases the teacher is able to meet the requirements of larger and larger students right. also technology can support peer support opportunities in the classroom so group work project work collaborative work when technologies are used to support these kind of approaches then we find that children are learning from children also and therefore a much more inclusive environment can be built technology has a role here but it has to be properly devised so one important principle for example in the indian context is we need to promote free and open source software because for example we are talking about visually impaired children right now there is a proprietary software called jaws now the jaws license is so expensive that if you are blind and poor you don't have a chance you are blind and rich you are okay you know we we cannot have money availability as a factor to determine whether a blind child will get education or not but there are there is a free and open source equivalent for jaws now governments and schools are to consciously adopt and promote free and open source software so that any tool that's available for a child can be available for all children and that is also an aspect of inclusion